guys today I want to show you how to make a photo stencil in Photoshop this is a stencil that I had already made before I figured out how to use this screen recording software so give me a moment and I'll show you a fresh photo and how to make the stencil just a few more seconds Okay, here we go. So we'll do this photo and we'll make it into one of these so that you can. So first we're going to go to image. It's very easy. Adjustment. Posterize. Level 4 is okay, but um, you can play around with the levels. And I think I went down to level 2. Hit OK. Go back to image, adjustments, threshold this time, and this is what you get. This is basically your um, stencil. You play around with it and try to get some of the dark spots out as much as you can. And when you got it the way you want it, you simply hit OK. And there you go. You save it as a JPEG and you use whatever program you're going to use to cut it in. I use Brother Scan and Cut too, so I'm going to have to go to another program, which is going to be um, Canvas Creation Workspace, and I'll show you that in a minute as soon as I finish saving this JPEG. Oh, I'm sorry. First, I, after I save it, I have to convert it to a SVG. I'm actually going online to the online SVG image converter, and here you can convert different things to different things. JPEGs, PNGs, GIFs, TIFF. So you choose your file, open it up, let it upload, and then you start your conversion. Download and save. Now I'm going to my program that I'm going to actually put it in and save it. Um, into another file so that I can put it on my I'm using Canvas Workspace by Brother and since I've already converted it to a SVG I can go right over here and just grab it SVG import my SVG because I'm gonna have to save it as a SWV file or something like that just so that I can put it on my um, in my on my flash drive and put it into my canvas oh here Okay, it comes out individual. See, every little piece is individual. But what you have to do is, I'm going to go back so I can get it back together. Grab the whole image with all the little pieces. All the, See all the little pieces, individual? We're going to go to layer. I'm going to group this image and make it one image so that we can move it around without all the pieces moving. You can make it as big as you want. 4x4, four 5x7, by 8x10. Four, by by and you can... Um, yeah, make different sizes, copy, paste, duplicate, duplicate it. And then I'm going to save it under two different formats. One of them so I can come back and edit if I want to ungroup it or add some things to it. So I'm going to file. Well, actually, I thought I wasn't going to save this one, but I'm going to save it later. First, I'm just going to actually import, export so that I can get it to an FM, FCM file and get it onto my um, flash drive and then I can stick that into my actual cutter which is the Brother Scan and Cut Pro 2 and once I cut it I can cut it and put it on glass put some glass etching cream on and etch that baby I have a video online also and it's called glass etching on larger surfaces where I actually etch three of these images and like an 8 by 10 onto a long mirror that I bought from Walmart. I probably paid about 20 bucks for the mirror and made priceless art. So this is how I did it and I'm sorry my, my um, photo, my video is kind of bootleg. This is my first time using this capture thing. I hope I did it right. I had to actually record on a separate on a separate um, 
program. But thank you so much for watching. Like, share, subscribe. Subscribe.